that the reason why they were trained was to be well conditioned for the World Cup, which will kick off on the 7th of June. This was the first time that uh, Stephanie Frappa had officiated with the, uh, the VAR. Uh, but having said this, I mean, she, she's got such a, a great CV. She's been officiating in League Two since 2014, but has also refereed games uh, for the World Cup in, uh, in Canada, Canada back in 2015, uh, the Euros in 2017, Rio Olympics in 2016, also the under 20s uh, final in, uh, in 20, uh, 2018. So uh, a, a great CV. I don't think she actually needed the, the training. I mean, just one game in the end of the season doesn't make much sense. I think it was just a, a, arguably a publicity stunt from right. FIFA and the French Football Federation for us to talk about the, uh, the World sure, Cup. Sure, but um, arguably it also doesn't really send out a great message there for any sort of young girls or young women who want to get into the sport thinking you know they're not really going to be taken seriously if they're given a game to officiate when the season's virtually over. I think you're completely right. Then we have to see what happens next season, see how many uh, women will be officiating league uh, games. If it's just a one-off of some kind of publicity stunt just uh, for us to, to talk about the uh, the upcoming uh, World Cup, then it makes no sense. But if it's just um, for us to start speaking about it this season, arguably have more women officiate in next season, then that could be uh, great for, for football in general. OK, so back to matters on the pitch. How does she do? She did great and was well uh, well received. Uh, and unfortunately, the 22 actors on the pitch didn't follow suits. It uh, was a disappointing goalless draw here between uh, Strasbourg and Amiens.